All right, it's time to get ready for Craft CMS 4, and I want to go over some of the things that you need to think about when preparing to upgrade. So the biggest thing that you need to think about and that you can do right now is to fix all of your deprecation errors. And this is really important. In Craft 3, a lot of stuff was deprecated. You can go back and look at the upgrading to Craft 3 uh, guide in the documentation, and you'll see a lot of things have been deprecated, but they've been deprecated, meaning that everything still worked. It just logged a deprecation error. All of that stuff is going to break in Craft 4 and will break your site, so you need to make sure you fix everything. So to do that, you want to check the deprecation warning section in your control panel for the project and go through one by one and fix everything where there's a deprecation. On the front end of the site, if you're using the Yi debug toolbar, which I encourage you to always have running on local development, you can look for anything that's deprecated as you click through the site. You'll see I have one deprecation here and it's going to tell me what it is and then I can go in and fix it. An even better way to do this is to make the deprecation errors do a hard error and not even render the page. So rather than just lock it in the background, just make it a hard error so you can't ignore it. In your app.php file, if you add in this little block of code here for components, deprecator, throw exceptions, and then give it a name, I'm just calling it hard deprec. And then in my environment file, I just have that set to false right now, but if I set it to true, now all deprecation errors are going to be hard errors. That means they're going to return a error in the web page. So now if I reload here, you can see I get a deprecation error, tells me what it is, where it's at, and I have to fix it. So this prevents me from ignoring it because if I upgraded to Craft 4, I will definitely get errors on any pages where the code is not up to spec. If you want to learn more about that code block, the official Preparing for Craft 4 documentation in the uh, knowledge base has the code block right here. You can just drop that in and be on your way. So the next thing, ensure that your local and remote environments support PHP 8. As of the recording of this, PHP 8.0.2 is the minimum PHP for Craft 4. There's also been an upgrade to the minimum MySQL version as well. Local environment is easy, but your remote staging production. If you are on an old host, maybe they don't support PHP 8 yet. They should. Uh, make sure that you can move to PHP 8. And update to the latest Craft 3.7 before you get even close to moving to Craft 4. This is going to allow the jump from Craft 3 to Craft 4 to be as small as possible less chances for something to go wrong, for complications. And if you do have any issues with upgrading to the latest Craft 3.7, you'll have those out of the way before you get to 4. Craft 3.7 is the latest point release for Craft. You're, there's not going to be anything after that, no 3.8s. I think we're at 3.7.20 or 30-something at the time of this recording. So just get to the latest 3.7. And... While you have time, make a list of all of your dependencies, the third-party plugins you use, first-party plugins you use, or even any of your own internal plugins or modules that you've created. Those all need to be updated for Craft 4. So what does that mean? That means that if you rely on a third-party plugin from the plugin store, you will have to wait until the developer of that plugin updates their plugin for Craft 4 typically to support some changes in PHP 8 with typing. So what I recommend people do is make a list of all of their dependencies, maybe in some sort of Kanban board, and they can track the progress of where it's at. You're not going to be able to upgrade to Craft 4 until everything on that Kanban board is moved all the way to the right to complete. So don't drive yourself crazy by kind of getting uh, hit with a bunch of errors one after the other, and you just end up having to hunt this stuff down just make a list now. Know what you know, get it done, get it fixed, and then when everything's ready to go, you'll be able to move to four, but don't even attempt it until that point. Building on that, update your internal project plugins to support PHP 8. So I included it in your dependencies, but again, it's important that you don't ignore your internal stuff needs to be up 
to PHP 8 as well. And finally, review the new features coming in Craft 4. There's a lot of content that's going to be posted here on CraftQuest about the new features. Review them, understand what the different features are, understand about collections and how you can use them. Maybe there's some optimizations for your code. Review everything that's coming. And maybe you can even plan for either your own internal projects or for client projects, some optimizations, maybe for authoring experience with the support for conditional fields, or also maybe for custom sources. Review all the new features and see how you can plan those into your project work. So that's everything that you need to know to get ready for Craft CMS 4. Stay tuned here on CraftQuest because I'm going to be covering Craft 4 at length and in depth as we get through the beta period. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.